We should be getting back. I mean, we've been here ages. I came in for my breakfast. Yeah, you haven't even touched it. Yeah, I'm not hungry, I suppose. Well, look, this is when we get back to the club. I mean, there's things to do. Go back when I want it. Careful, careful. I'm all right. I'm all right. Save my life, or you don't do us bacon, Sonny. Couple at home is bare. Sure, two minutes. That's it, boss. You just keep taking deep breaths. It'll pass. Get away from me, Danny. Steve? What? I see. You all right? Yeah, country's all right. You're all right, aren't you, Steve? Why can't you just leave me alone? Oi, oi. Get lost. I'm on my break. Tell about we're not in the club. I'm here as a mate. How's it going? What's it got to do with you? Well, don't get the ump. It is possible I could help you out. Oh, really? Yeah. I've got a mate who works in an hospital pharmacy. Now I know that you're not above a little chemical stimulation. So, how about I'll get him in the pocket or something? Sharpen you up in no time. Not interested. Look, you don't want to mess with street stuff. That's cut with bog clean or all sorts. Just trying to help out. having a look. Yeah, well, I'd rather not have you drawing all over the camera. Not in my time, anyway. Is that it? You got anything for me? I thought you didn't want any. Well, let's just do the deal, eh? Right, right. So you want me to do you a favour now, yeah? No, it's a simple business transaction, that's all. Can't help you. Sorry. Look, I've this money in your pocket. You ain't gonna turn that down, are you? Billy. Don't miss me about. I can't give you what I ain't got. Yeah, well, earn your money and go and get it. I can't. I've got glasses to polish. You will. Give me the time off. Now, just go and get it. Oh, what? What are you going to do? Eh? Hey? Yeah, right. Because you need me. No, I don't. You do. No, you do. Look here. Look at the state here. You need it bad. No, not that much. Just get out. I'll make your mind up, Steve. Just get out! Hi, right, boss. Oi, where's your manners? Sorry. I think so, I know. Just give me the stuff, eh? I don't take kindly to being ordered about. Especially by you. Ask me nicely. Go on. Please. Mm. See, I've gone to a lot of trouble for you, Stevie boy. Ask me again. Come on. Please, please. Just give me the stuff. It's a bit more like it. Yeah. We'll add back to your account. Oi. Feeling better, are we? Try your work. Fancy yourself now, don't you? Full of it. Think you can start throwing your weight around again, yeah? No, go away. Hey, Steve. I've seen you. I know what you like. I've seen you grovel. Very undignified. Get lost. Me, get lost. Uh, I don't think you really want that, do you, Steve? So don't ever tell me to get lost again. Otherwise, next time I might just do that. Now, I might pop into the club later on. Then again, I might not. Hi, Billy. Hi, Steve. How you doing? Listen, if you scare you after that. No, 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 that's all over now. So why don't you been returning the calls, eh? Are you scared of what I might do to you? No. I should be. Because Beppo nearly died after you took that stuff. But it was you who left the gear line. Yeah, who supplied it, eh? Huh? Who pushed those uppers on me? Hey, I don't do anymore. I got busted. Yeah, I'll bust you if you don't do what don't I say. Me, no, me. I can't quite remember. Did you really have me begging at your feet? Huh? Did you really Look, treat me like that? I'll make it up to you. I'll do anything. Yeah. I know you will. Now, my car's parked around the corner. Hey, 
you know what a psychiatrist would say, don't you? He'd say that you've got an addictive personality. <laughs> and right now, I could get seriously addicted to teaching you a lesson. Disrespect will not go unpunished. Do we understand each other? Oh, what's going on here? You're doing it again, Billy. Have you found him? No, 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 but, but I'm onto something. I should have an answer any day, I swear, Steve. The clock's ticking, sunshine. I, I, I'm onto it. Now get up! Have you finished down here, mate? Give me a break, I've been out here all morning. Give me a coffee, will you? Just sit down. So what are you hanging about here for then? Oh, I get it. You're waiting to get a glimpse of your, uh, lady love, aren't you? I haven't got a lady love, ever. I bet you thought you were right in there with Mel, didn't you? No, I didn't. I know what the score was. Billy, it's me. I was there, remember? Your stupid little face. It was a picture. Billy boy, we need a word. Do we? What was going on last night with you and Mel? It doesn't concern you, does it? Right, now, you've got two choices. One ends up with you getting hurt. I'm going to ask you again. What was going on? Shareholders meeting. Yeah, something like that. You'll be a good boy from now on. You hear me? All right, boss. Talk about a stroke of luck with that shooter, eh? Yeah, well, don't worry. It'd be nice drinking it for you. I didn't know I did. It's been nicked. But I swear, I looked in the drawer and it was gone. Give me that gun, baby. Well, I haven't got it. I won't ask you again. I swear on my life, it's been nicked. If I find out you're lying to me. No, 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 you can do what you want, but I still haven't got it. Yeah? Well, if anyone asks, it never was a gun. Do you understand me? What are you talking about? I tried to let you know it was missing while you was away. You just watch that mouth of yours, because you never know where it's going to land you. Now, get on with some work. Come on, move it! Well, I've had this flu thing. I just needed to get some fresh air. Well, that's funny, isn't it? Because I couldn't sleep either. Somebody do my wife going missing. Now I'm going to break every finger and every tongue you've got. Do you understand me? Hey, Billy's family. Yeah. You tell him, Phil. Oh. <laughs> and family solves family. Look, this ain't my fault. What is it? He threatened me. He said he was going to do all sorts if I didn't do all what right, he said. Start from the beginning now. Dan came to see you, right? He wanted to know what was going on at the club. What does that mean, eh? Well, you know, who locked up, who sorted the takings, what time Mel usually left. What, you told him, did you? I told you, I didn't have any choice. OK, OK, so you told him. Now, where has he taken her? I don't know. I swear to you, look, you can break every bone in my body, but I swear to you, I don't know. All I know is, Dan told me to go sick. Go what? Well, use your imagination. Well, why didn't you come to me, eh? Hey? No, I wanted to go to Mel. I wanted a walnut. Then why didn't you then, Billy, eh? Hey? Well, cos what would have happened then when Dan found out, eh? Hey? Yeah, better than what's happening to her right now. Not in my book. Right, Dan! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leave it, leave it, leave it. How do you think I feel, eh? I'm stuck in the middle of all of this and I'm sick of it. All of you and your stupid games. I told him everything, didn't you, eh? My business, my private life, the lot! He made me! Yeah, well, now you listen to me, because I'm only going to say this once. Tomorrow you're going to go and see Mel. You're going to tell her this Karen Burr was just a one-off, right? That I was cut up about it, I'll come to see you, told you everything, that I felt was guilty as hell. Right, all right, got it, no problem. You want us a truth, you little toe rag? OK, OK, that's all I told him anyway! Yeah, and he embellished it, didn't he? So what's this all about, then? This is about you delivering things, collecting things, taking me and my panel from place to place. That's all you need to know. Everyone's been asking, you know, where you've been, what you've been up to. All sorts of rumours knocking about. Some people reckon that you really lost it, you know, with your mail and everything, but I said, no, nah, he'll bounce back. You'll have each 20 up and running in no time. And I said, he'll have some new bird hanging off his arm before long and long. Now you listen to me. You talk to me about E20 if you want, about nice shiny new cars and what you have for breakfast, but do not talk to me about Melody. You understand? All right, all right. Just 
done a runner, is And taking all the money. Well, I'm telling you, if something's happened, it's nothing to do with me. I'm still due my wages. You just shut your fat mouth, all right? All right, all right. Yeah. I thought we had a meet. So who's with you now? Uh, just me and Graham. So where's Andy? Telling you I could not need an invitation to get in there. Yeah, Carl. Carl, I'll deal with this, mate. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Very good. What are you doing here? You was meant to make me in the vet, remember? Get lost, Billy, eh? Not until you give me the money you owe me. You still don't get it, do you? Look, the deal I was... Know exactly what the deal was, and you messed up again. I just did what you said! Yeah? Then how come the party's still going on? All right, well, let's just see what Mel's got to say about it, shall we? You listen to me. Right, you've had a bit too much to drink tonight, OK? In the morning, you're going to wake up sober, and you're going to forget all about this. Understood? Huh? Mate, this is the you're on. Really? Yeah, if I never knew you better, I'd say you were avoiding me. Why would I do a thing like that? I don't know. Maybe something to do with what happened at the club the other night? Seriously, Steve. Do you think I'll be that stupid? You really want me to answer that? I didn't go near the place, I swear to you. Oh, all right, all right. Look, if you really want to know what happened, best off talking to Phil. I didn't want to get involved, but you know what it's like. I di didn't have any choice in the matter. All right, listen now. Honestly, honestly, I'm telling you the truth. I know you are, Bill. I just wanted to hear it from your own pathetic little mouth. You ain't going to mention any of this to Phil, no? Oh, don't worry about Phil. I'm going to take care of him. So, so me and you are uh, sweet, yeah? Not quite. What did you say? I, I, I said, were you doing a sleep? I, I, I'm surprised you're so laid back. You ever heard of a man called Nero? Yeah, he's a wrestler. He was the emperor of Rome. Do you know what he did while his city burnt around him? No. Played the violin. <laughs> Which I've written shows incredible strength of character. Which is something you know nothing about. Now get out. But you don't even know what I want. Yes, I do. You want a job. Now, <sighs> I'd put you to work cleaning out the toilets, but I really don't want them to get infected, you know what I mean? Each one of his clothes, thanks to you. All right, all right, all right. I did wrong. You punished me, I accept that. A man who accepts a beating, you're unbelievable. Look, if, if, if Rome's burning, well, I, I can help you put it out, can't I? My empire might be dented, but it's still very much alive, believe me. And if you don't mind, I've got some business to see to. didn't say nothing honest. Yeah, well, we both know you're lying, Bill. Yeah? Well, you can't do nothing to me, because Phil's gonna have you. Yeah, you made a mistake this time, because you've chosen the wrong side. Phil Mitchell's got his coming, and when I've sorted him out, I'm coming back for you. 